Okay, okay, I hear you. For the hundreds of people that have emailed me asking for a jumping spider care video, this one's for you. Okay, so as you already know, a lot of people have been emailing me and uh, commenting in the comments to say, can you do a video for looking after uh, jumping spiders? So that's what I'm going to do now. Before we go ahead with the video, let me just say that I've only been keeping them for a little over a year, so I'm not the foremost expert. For this video, I'll be covering the care of the regal jumping spider, which is the Philippus regius, I believe it's pronounced. I'm not good with uh, Latin, but that's uh, the spider we are covering. They're probably the most common jumping spider for pets because they, they, are, they are the easiest to look after. So depending on what species you are keeping, you'll need to check what temperature and moisture that that species need to be kept at. And you also need to check what temperature and humidity the room that you're keeping them in will be at also. This you will need to check depending on the species of your spider. The first thing I want you to do is to head over to My Pet Jumping Spider. That website has a lot of information, far more information than I can cover in a single video. So that's the first place you go to. Have a read up on there about everything to do with jumping spiders as pets. So if you haven't got an enclosed for your jumping spider yet, check out this video here on how I built my jumping spider enclosures. But once you've got that, what I want to do is go through a standard uh, feeding and misting procedure that I do every couple of days. So every couple of days I will miss the cage. This entails me getting a water bottle and spraying once on the inside of the cage. If you have a very small jumping spider then what you need to do is just put a droplet of water on the side of the cage. Now I'm using this little bottle as an example of what you would do even though it does not have a spider in it. You can also place a paper towel inside the enclosure and wet that. That will also provide moisture for your spider. Do not over mist your spider enclosure as this can result in the death of your spider. Too much moisture is just not good for your spider. The first thing I do is I have to take out any food that's been eaten or any uneaten food because sometimes your jumping spider might not take the food. So you have to clean that out Next comes the feeding. Now with jumping spiders they like live food so you have to have feeder food, there's no way about it. So depending on the size of your jumping spider will depend on what you feed it. Now very small babies that don't have any distinctive colour markings will usually feed on fruit flies. Once they molt and they get a little bit bigger and they start getting the colourings you can then move on to feeding them curly ring flies. Now these flies have curly rings and they can't fly which makes it very easy for you to feed them to your spider. My spiders are also feeding on size 2 hoppers. I find hoppers are very clean and they have no threat to the spider. Once your spider is an adult you can then start feeding it green bottle flies as treats. Now my adult spider feeds on hoppers mostly. But I do like to put in a nice green bottle in there with, with little treats for, uh, from time to time. And I'm so happy that my spiders have actually moved on to size 2 hoppers. They take them down easily. And a rule of thumb that I like to say is not to feed your spider anything that is equal size or bigger. They will take them down, but I tend to stick to any uh, food that is basically the same size. Now you can use cockroaches, uh, crickets, any of those type food will do. Again check out that website My Jumping Spider for a full list of food that you can use. Don't use food that you capture in the garden, you don't know if it's got pesticides on. Don't give them beetles, ants or other spiders as they can be harmful to your jumping spider. And at the end of the day they are pets and it's your responsibility to look after this pet to the best of your ability. I really hate fruit flies. I hate them with a passion. And the reason I hate them is because most cultures come with mites. Now these are little white, they're like, I think they're a spider family, but they're just irritating and they, they will spread everywhere. So what I recommend you get is some anti-mite paper. And this comes in uh, big rolls. There's a link to this product in the description below if you would like to go and get some. And what I do is I place my anti-mite paper inside another container and then I place my fruit flies 
inside that container. And as you can see from the victims, it works very, very well and it will stop the spread of mites in your house. Your spider will create a hammock, usually at the top of the cage. Now this serves as its home and it also serves as a safe place for when it molts. Now when your spider molts, it won't eat for up to two weeks. I've sometimes I've had mine go for three weeks without food while they molt in. And it's a very, very delicate procedure that they do. It's when they shed their skin and grow. And during this time, they're at their most vulnerable. So you need to not disturb them, don't touch them. If your spider's not feeding, don't worry about it unless it's been upwards of three weeks. Then you might need to intervene and find out why your spider's not feeding. But usually, most of the time, the spiders will molt quite happily and you'll have a bigger spider and usually the colours are a lot brighter once they've molted. So that's it and uh, as I said I do this every two days so I will feed and miss my spider every two days okay. So I hope you find that video useful. If you, if you have any questions then you can leave them in the comments below. Again check out the website My Pet Jumping Spider. There's also Facebook groups that I will link down in the description below that you can join. They are full of very helpful people. So I hope you find this video useful and I thank you for watching it. Give it a thumbs up if you did find it useful. And again, share it out to anyone who you think will find this video useful. My name is Stuart Wood and as always, I'll see you on the next one guys.